Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow Systems. It's Technical Tuesday. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the addition of an extra spring to our DR920P pistols. And by the way, if you're one of those early adopters of this gun and there wasn't one of these in your box, call us and we'll send you one. Here's the story. We released the gun planning for the standard weight recoil spring, which does work in a majority of situations. But what we have kind of been learning now that the gun's out in the market is changes in shooter technique and also some pretty soft ammo is resulting in some people really needing a lighter weight recoil spring. So we're including that in the box now inside a little baggie. And I wanna show you what the symptoms might be when you would need this, and then also how to install it on your guide rod at the range, okay? So I've got a Deer 920P, and I'm shooting 124 grain full power nine millimeter. So with good technique, I should have no problems. So I'm gonna shoot this gun first with good technique, and then I'm gonna shoot it with poor technique, and I'm gonna create the kind of malfunction that would mean you need a lower recoil spring. And then we'll install it and we'll see what we get. All right, so I'll shoot the gun normally first. Ready? All right, gun runs, gun runs fine, right? Okay, now I'm gonna shorten up my arms. I'm gonna use kind of crappy technique and you'll watch the gun kind of has some issues. All right, so here's a normal proper technique. Okay, now I'm relaxing my arms. I'm loosening everything up. I'm gonna limp wrist it. Okay, there, I got one. So that was where the slide didn't come back far enough, okay? I'll try to do another one where I just limp wrist the gun. Stovepipe, that's another symptom of, of, a, of a very light shooter uh, grip, okay? Just to finish the mag, I'll shoot it normal. And now we're back to normal, okay. So if you see one of those malfunctions that looks like, well, you saw it, if you see one of those, you might wanna consider trying your recoil spring. Now again, with full power ammunition and proper grip, you shouldn't need it. But if you do, it'll be in the box now. Let's go ahead and install it and I'll show you how to do that. So the guide rod is designed to make recoil spring removal and installation generally more easy than other stuff out there. I like to use the uh, takedown tool for the back strap and I put it through that cross hole there so that I'm controlling the, the recoil rod. I have something to hold on to. Sometimes there's no hole and you have to like hold it with pliers and you mess up your rod. So we put a cross hole there for you guys. All right, so a T10 Torx, you should be able to loosen that screw in the front. It is Loctited, but it's important to know that even if this screw comes out, the gun will continue to function. And I could even demonstrate that for you. All right, so it came off. There's the cap and the screw, okay? So now I'm gonna remove the spring. Again, it's under tension, so I'm gonna aim it down and I'm gonna install my 15 pound spring. This one is marked yellow. They'll be yellow so you can tell them apart. This is probably the only part that's kind of hard. So you're gonna to have to compress the spring manually and then push that punch or that, uh, that tool in to hold the spring in place. All right, so now I've got the spring controlled and it's really easy to reinstall the washer and the nut now. You can add a little bit of blue Loctite on there if you want to, um, that certainly wouldn't hurt. If you've taken it off only once, some of that thread locker that we use, which is uh, is actually like a more uh, kind of plasticky thread locker that sort of stays there, some of that should actually still be there and you might not even need it. But if you wanna add some blue, you can. All right, pull your pin. Now you've got your 15 pound spring installed. So let's see if the gun is a little more tolerant now to kind of bad technique. So I'm gonna go ahead and load my magazine back up. All right, I'm gonna shoot it with normal technique again. Okay, now I'm gonna loosen up my technique a little bit like I did last time. Okay, I got one when I got really loose, okay? But it definitely was more tolerant. See that? All right, it does make a difference. So if you're having failures for the slide to come fully to the rear, check your technique first. If your technique is good, you might be using light ammo, in which case you'll need the spring. But it's there if you need it, and now you know how to swap it out if you have any of those issues. This video, by the way, is for Michael Robinson in Lebanon, Tennessee. We appreciate you as a customer, and thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.